It has been a hot minute since I've been back on YouTube. See if I know how to do this still. What's good guys, Ash Bash back again with another sneaker video. And this is my entire New Balance collection. So I'm not gonna try and make this video, well, I'm gonna try and make this video not too long and kind of rush through it a bit because I've got psh, too many pairs, more pairs than I thought I had. Let's be, I'm gonna be honest, I've got more pairs than I thought I had of New Balance. I thought I had like, Sofonies was my second brand that I had the most of after like Jordans, but New Balance kind of taken over. But anywho, let's get started. So the first pair is one of my first New Balance, I think it's my first New Balance pair that I bought. Nothing exciting at all. New Balance 574 black colorway. Very meh. Didn't actually wear it that much in the end, but it is what it is and it's on the list. Next up, don't know the name of this colorway, but it's a New Balance 530. These still, I say they're DS, but I actually wore them once outside of the house and I found them super uncomfortable and I never wore them again. <laughs> so they've literally been sitting here for quite a few years now. Actually need to get rid of these. Might just give them away for free to be honest at this point, but yeah. Nice colorway, but just never fit me. Next up, another pair of New Balance 530s. But this one is actually pretty cool. It's the Ronify Collaboration Central Parks. One of my favorite shoes of all time. But again, I should have known, but the 530s just do not fit my feet well at all. So I've hardly worn this, which is makes me want to cry to be honest, but it is what it is. Still kept it because it's a fire pair, but it ain't happening. Next up is the 550s. We've got this pair here. GR, white and burgundy. Not much to say about this. Nice clean colorway. I'm happy that I didn't dive too crazy into the 550s because I like the shoe, but the top down view doesn't excite me that much. So I've only got a couple of them, but is what it is. Next up is the 550 size collaboration. This is my favorite of the three pack that came out. Again, 550 is not my major cup of tea, but still a nice shoe nonetheless. And again, another pair of 550s, but this pair probably the best 550 that's ever been released in my opinion. The ALD, I think it's from the second drop of um, shoes that came out. This pair with the green, the off-white. This is like official to me, like ALD branding and colorway. So they smashed it with these, excellent pair. Now we're gonna dive into my 2002 R bag. We've got this pair here, uh, black JD exclusives. Probably one of my most worn pairs of shoes because this is my, one of my work shoes. But oddly enough, this shoe, <laughs> I talk about uncomfortability a lot, which is hilarious considering New Balance are meant to be comfortable. But for some reason, this shoe is really uncomfortable. Like I wear it a lot. I stopped wearing it lately to be fair. But I don't know if this pair is sh shaped badly because it is made in Vietnam. It's not like I made in USA. But it really hurts my big toe on like one of the shoes, one of the um, sides. So I don't actually wear this pair anymore, but it was a dope color when it came out. Next up, another pair of um, 2002 R's. JD exclusive, the gray and the black. Very nice pair, nice clean colorway. Not much to say about this again. When I saw it, in fact, when I saw it online, I think it was Change Key that posted it. I was like, where the hell are these? And I finally found them in JD. People were reselling them at the time, but I think these are like, on sale and whatnot now, so, but still, New Balance Grey, can't be mad. Next up, one of my favorite 2002 R's, the Joe Fresh Goods um, pair, white and off-white, he nailed this one. Part of a double pack for a pair of 550s, the 550s were the better shoe, in my opinion, but I don't think they released much in the UK, so the 2002 R was the one for me. Next up, the sweet, sweet caramel um, 2002 R's, this is a lovely pair. This was my sort of B-Tech version of the 992, what is the pair called? Packers. It's not exactly the same colorway, but similar enough, uh, nice wear. All 2002 R's for the most part are really comfortable and yeah, really digging this pair. Next up, probably one of the wildest shoes that I own. And I think I've worn it a handful of times, but I always find it hard to wear and you'll see why. The 2002 R Salehi Benbury collaboration. This colorway is absolutely bonkers. We've got like crazy teal, green, pink salmon kind of going on. It's a madness, 
but it kind of works. Hard to rock, but still fire. Salehi does his bits, I cannot deny. Next up, boom. The pink pair from the Refined Future um, pack that came out. One of my favorite 2002 Rs. When this Refined Future thing came out, I slept straight away. Like I was on the website and I thought, eh. Didn't go for the rain clouds, which I wish I had because the price went crazy on them in the end. Still haven't got a pair of those. But this pair is super fire. As soon as it came out, I was after it. I think these are still pretty easy to get if you want a pair, but very nice colorway. Not mad at these at all. Then we have the Lilac Chalk, um, basically same as that. Pink pair from the same sort of pack. Dope colorway. Um, doesn't look exactly like some people thought in the pictures, like people thought it was a different kind of color. Some people thought it was kind of like a blue, kind of like a gray even, not blue. But it's like a light blue with a navy on it. Um, very fire pair. 2002 R's Refined Future. You cannot go wrong with pretty much most of them. And another pair of the Refined Futures. I think this is from the second pack that came out. Cannot remember the name of the colorway now, but these released and re-released bear times. I got it on the second time it came out. Very unique color, kind of has a military vibes to it, but it is a fire pair. And definitely one that you can wear with like a variety of stuff. So definitely was a pair that I would say check this out. Now, as I said, I did miss out on the rain clouds, but I did get the lunar pack. When I saw that this was being released, I pretty much deleted all my like StockX bids for the rain clouds. Cause I was like, yeah, pretty similar to be honest. It's definitely more sort of pinkish purple in person than I saw in the original pictures, but it's close enough that I can, not happily, but I can live without the rain cloud, shall we say, and um, settle for this pair. Again, nice, comfortable wear, refined future pack, absolute fire. Now the 1906 series, same midsole as the 2002R. So you have that same comfort, but has a different upper to it. This again is part of that refined future thing. Uh, pretty dope in my opinion. Grey colorway, I think it's called Castle Rock. Uh, very fire. My favorite part of these shoes in general is that the New Balance logo is made out of like kind of laces. So it's just a dope little touch. See it better on um, different colorways, which I'll show you later. Next pair from the same pack is the uh, black colorway. Again, not much to say about this. 906R, 2002 R Soul or 2002 Soul shall we say, but yeah, super fire pair. This is probably gonna end up being a work pair for me eventually, to be honest, because the darker the shoe, I can get away with it, you know, but yeah. The last pair of 1906Rs that I have is this pair right here. I'm not sure if it was a size exclusive pack, but it's the place that I saw them the most. This is the white and green pair. Very much, very much ALD vibes on this. And this is the pair where you can see what I was saying about the New Balance logo has the sort of lace kind of things going through it. Very cool. I do need to find some laces that are the exact same color as this um, logo so I can make it work, but off-whites work for now. But yeah, this is probably one of my most worn New Balance pairs this year. Super breathable, super comfortable, and a must-have pair, I would say, in anyone's collection. Now we're going to move on to the 990v3 collection, and we have boom the marble head um new balance 1990 v3 this part of the teddy santis pack ald creator teddy santis has been going crazy since he started working with um new balance as was it creative director whatever he is uh very fire colorway i was surprised one of my friends wanted this pair and he was telling me how expensive it was on resale i just assumed all the teddy santis pairs were like grs that you can get anywhere and maybe at the time it was but apparently this is worth a bit of money now i'm not too sure if it still is because it was a couple months back but Absolutely fire pair, one of my favorites that he's done. Next up, I'm not really generally a fan of like denim on shoes, but 990 V3, Levi's collaboration, kind of couldn't say no. And when you have them on feet, it pretty much works, to be honest. I haven't seen people do customizations on this like I've seen with people do on like the Jordan 4 denims and other denim pairs, but probably diet and whatnot if you wanted to, but as is, dope pair. Off-white laces, little off-white around the logo. Pretty fire to me. Next up, I think this is one of my first 990 V3s that I got, which made me realize how comfortable the shoe is. And it is the Bodega. Um, pretty unique colorway, because it's got the brown 
for the most part but it also has random hits of teal random hits of like coral on it and stuff but it's a very very lovely pair and once i wore it i was like 990 v3s are extremely comfortable and i'm getting more of them so that's why i ended up with a lot of these but yeah bodegas bang another pair from teddy santis and i kind of had a weird privilege of being like i felt like one of the first people to get this pair like anywhere in the world because when i posted it everyone was going crazy like how the hell did you get this but it is this pair which i think is it called the moonbeam maybe um new balance 990 v3 uh it kind of reminds me of the studio is it f7 or fy7 um 992 that came out definitely a way cheaper pair of those but yeah it's got beige some sort of dark gray hits i think even this bit kind of looks a bit navy at times as well but yeah extremely extremely fire pair and happy to get it one of the first people and just happy to have it in general i've chucked on these um gray laces as well they didn't come as standard i think these were from one of my 992s that i'll show you later but yeah next up uh a pair that i was excited to get but honestly i haven't worn them yet because the colorway again is so mad that i just cannot figure out what to rock it with but it is the joe fresh goods 990 v3 a mental pair as i say beige different kind of beige light blue a darker blue green it's a lot going on but it is still a fire shoe in my opinion so had to have it but how i'm gonna wear it if you've got any ideas please tell me and i'll try it out but at the moment i'm a bit stumped this pair right here uh kif steel blue um an unbranded kif pair same as the 992s that came out basically like a store exclusive but very fine nonetheless i was really really into the kif 992 steel blues but the price on that is like over a grand i believe so when these came out in the 990 v3 i was like praise the lord nice little retail job can't be mad and yeah nice little solid 990 v3 and boom another pair of 990 v3s this is the daytona this is part of a sort of pack that ronnie feig did last year i believe it was can't remember what year it was to be honest um, they were based on the Daytonas that had, he had released before. These are way better than the Daytonas. I always forget the number if it's 1500 or 1600 of the originals. But I did want them at the time because the color was fire. But they work even better on this model. So very happy to have got them uh, in this iteration, so I would say. Next up, probably one of my favorites. Easily top five. Probably easily top three, possibly. Um, boom. Jound 990 V3s, not much to be said. This green is perfection. The off white at the back, perfection. You just can't go wrong. I was super excited to finally get this pair. It had eluded me for too long, but I finally added it to the collection and well worth the wait. I'm gonna move on to the 990 V4s. Not got many of these, but still. Another pair of Jounds. This was the navy colorway. A lot of people thought it was a bit basic. Yeah honestly it is a bit basic but because i've got it for pretty much retail it was worth picking up kind of thing but like it looks black in some colors it looks like a weird blue in some colors but it is still a nice pair to me but again it's not nothing crazy like this is probably the most basic jound pair that they've done but jound is jound you know and one of my one of my favorites boom united arrows that kif gray sorry that new balance gray the purple the pink hits the black on the tongue it just all works perfectly again based on a previous colorway that ronnie feig had done before on a different model but yeah this is just an absolute gem of a shoe everything about it just works material super premium ridiculously comfortable as well one of my faves I guess while I'm doing 990s, I might as well do the last 990 that I have. My latest pickup, the 990 V6 in the grey day colorway. Grey, navy, some off-white hits, off-white laces. Very fire pair. My first pair of 990 V6s. I've seen some of the stuff that they're coming out with in this model. And I think it's going to be a bit of a problem, to be honest, because it's kind of fire. It's kind of fire. This release has been super annoying for it to come out in the UK. Like it's delayed by like two months, but finally got it 
um, in person and definitely worth the wait and I'll be definitely be getting more 990 V6s in the future. I probably should do 992s before 993s but I've got more 992s than 993s so I'm going to do the 993s first and we have boom this pair here. I think it's beef and broccoli ALD collaboration brown green all over it Emilian door at the back of the shoe here this is a fire pair um again for me for the clothes that I currently have a little bit of a tough wear but I do get these on feet I would have preferred a lighter midsole I've seen people paint it and it kind of looks fire if I get someone to do it I might actually do it but still a nice little pair and then we have the Joe Fresh Goods. This pair was the, I can't remember the name of the blue, but the blue 993 freeze from Joe Fresh Goods. Quickly get that out of the way. Then we had the green, I think they're called Sage Green, this pair, which was second on my list for faves of the um, free pack that he brought out. And then we have my faves by far. I think it was Performance Pink maybe it's called just a ridiculous pink i believe there was a pink pair of 993s that came up before which was similar i think it was like a cancer research pair or something like that which were dope but obviously not about anymore when i got this i was hype and they definitely lived up to the hype so bang bang next up is a pair that you very very rarely see in any iteration let alone the collaboration just on feet but it is the Kif um, 1300, I think it might be 1300R, this little bit at the back of the shoe is crazy. My favourite bit is on the Kif logo, where it has, Kif, the New Balance logo, sorry, where it has Kif written on it, it's very cool. It's a crazy model, um, but very classy, I know, RC, that's what it's called, the RC 1300, not R, but yeah, um, nice pair. Haven't rocked these too much, but still happy to have them nonetheless. This one's a very uh, recent release, probably my second latest um, pickup, shall we say, is the ALD um, New Balance 86DV2, if I can get it out. Uh, very cool pair. I did prefer the 1906R version, not gonna lie, but it's nice to have a little bit of a difference um, in this pair, so I'm not too mad at it. The off-white is cool, the green is very cool, the silver, very much of a running shoe, but it does work. And a nice big branding of ALD on the tongue there as well, so, you yeah, know, I ain't mad. Now for the 992s, I'm going to, I might sprint through these because I've got quite a few. So boom, tan 992s, extremely fire, worth every penny if you can get a pair, do it, do it now. Boom, Paperboy 992s, um, the egg, shall we say, <laughs> hence the yolk on that. Uh, very fire pair, extremely, extremely clean. Uh, a pair that I didn't think I was going to be able to get because the um, price at the time was crazy, then they re released, got them for retail. But exquisitely classy pair. Next up, and extremely high on my favorite New Balance list, is the um, Kifmas. Um, New Balance in the burgundy colorway. Just absolutely sick. Nice blend of turquoise, purple and white. Love this pair. Again from the Kifmas pack, we have the um, teal pair. Not much difference going on here. This is mainly teal with the um, red tongue, but still a fire pair. And if you're gonna get two pairs from a pack, might as well get the third pair. This is the third pair from the Kifmas pack. This one is definitely the most basic of the lot because it's pretty much all over red, grey on the tongue, but it does have some nice hits with the tumbled leather of white on the New Balance logo and tumbled grey on the tongue here as well. But still, it ain't that crazy. This one here is always a head turner and a pair that I've never seen anyone else really rocking in person. Todd Snyder, Duck Camo 992s. Very fire pair canvas duck camera on the tongue the nice little infrared hits at the back he went crazy on these not gonna lie shout out to june sanders from dtlr got this new balance pair here i think it was a usa themed shoe i can't even remember now but basically new balance gray with some blue red hits and the yellow on the tongue fire pair 
earlier in my New Balance um, 992 days, I picked up this pair. Extremely simple, but extremely clean. All out black and gray. The black is so jet black, it's um, insane to be honest. But yeah, very classy pair. Rock it with anything. It might eventually turn into my work shoe. You will see my work shoe in a minute. It's a little bit battered, but yeah. And boom. This is my current work shoe, the New Balance 992 Navy. As you can see, a little bit of discoloration, a little bit of dirt on it, but it is a nice pair, a nice comfortable pair that I get to rock every day to work. And it's nice because I don't I don't wear my same pairs that often, so it's nice to see that they can take a bit of a beating like with wearing them often and it's not on like the nicest terrain that I'm generally work and walking on when I'm at work, so not too bad. Then we have this pair here, I believe it's a J Crew collaboration, New York. Um, J Crew collaboration, definitely for autumn vibes with the grey, with the brown, sorry, the blue. And we've got the very bright orange hits on there. Very nice pair. Um, was happy to have this again. This is a pair that you pretty much won't see many people rocking, so I like to have something a little bit different to what the masses have, shall we say. Next up, when I saw this pair online on IG, I was like, what the hell is that? Where is that coming from? I eventually found it. I think it ended up getting on StockX under retail but a very nice pair nonetheless. Light blue, dark blue, gray, and have some more orange hits on it. Black tongue, comfortable, 992. You know the vibes. Now my first pair of 992s, the classic gray. This is kind of what started the whole 992 collection of being mad as it is right now. But yeah, very nice pair. Very happy to have picked this up. Very worn, but um, I actually got my girl a pair of these and she loves them. She said, oh, I want to get some more of those, but I don't think she actually knows the price of 992s because it ain't cheap. So I doubt she's going to want more when she actually sees how much they are, but I see why she likes them and I like them too. This was a re-release of an old classic colorway that came out in the past. The white and navy 992. This one, like unlike the rest of the pairs I've had, is actually leather. Um, so it doesn't fit and it's not as comfortable as the mesh pairs in my opinion but it does look super nice and super clean. There is an issue with um, 992s, like, oh, with New Balance in general, when they do leather, in my opinion, like you see where it's attached sometimes, like it sticks for a bit, but this one, for thank God, um, is actually pretty nice. There was a 990 V3 that I really liked, that was um, white leather, but when I saw it in person, I was like, I ain't getting that, because you can see like the little bits in there, Ugh, it was horrible. One of the best um, GR 992s that came out, the yellow and grey. Um, these are part of like a whole pack that came out. I don't think they actually released in the UK because I never did see them over here. Got these on um, StockX under retail. But yeah, very fine pair, nice and colourful. Then we have this pair here, which was, <laughs> it's so funny when I see people looking for this pair, it seems to be so elusive to many people. But it is the Maroons. They did release another pair, which were a different kind of sort of purple. So people thought it was that same pair, but it's not. It's like a totally different pair. Very hard to find for some reason, but I got them off some random Italian website that I found someone posted on um, one of the New Balance forums on um, Facebook. But yeah, super fire pair. Worn these quite a bit and pretty much always a head turner, shall we say. Now we're getting to the last, I think it's the last two, but no, I've got, got another pair after this, I'm capping. So we have, boom, New Balance 992 in the green colorway, Jown collaboration. Everyone's seen these before, I'm sure. Extremely fire. The price on these now is absolutely insane. I probably paid a lot for them at the time anyways, but it's pretty much doubled since then. Very tempting to get rid of it, to be honest, but it's so nice, I don't think I can. And then we have, apparently this is gray but it's not <laughs> it's a new balance m 992 jowned in the gray colorway it looks more like a brown to me kinda or a khaki color maybe but this one probably of the two is my favorite i think the 990 v3 is my favorite jown pair but this is a close second absolute fire and the last pair which is probably my favorite 992 yeah i don't know it's what it's up there anyways and it is the amoeba music times nice kicks times new balance uh, 992 
came out maybe two years ago very cool pair it's got some yellow gray came with teal laces as standard very different but yeah that is my new balance collection hopefully the video wasn't too long hopefully it wasn't too boring hopefully i can make more youtube videos because i like doing this stuff but i just boy taking this out took way too long <laughs> so hopefully people appreciate the video but anywho catch me on instagram ash bash sneakers i do have a podcast called half size up podcast we haven't recorded in a while I'm not gonna lie to you but hopefully we will be back doing that but if you haven't listened to some of the other pod the old episodes check them out half size up podcast on youtube apple music apple podcast and all the other podcasting apps i'm out later